Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Let's Play SteamWorld Heist with me, your host, Tim. Where we left off, we managed to secure the goods for Gats. And he told us that we need to talk to someone named Taps Wire down in the colony past the asteroids. We are on our way to do so now. What else have we done? We also were told that apparently they're being led by someone that they refer to, the Scrappers, that is, as Mother. So let's go see if we can figure out more information about her. Now, how are we looking? Okay, so we have a mission we can do as well. We can do the Skull mission. Let's take a peek at it really quick. Looks like this could be too much to chew for a fresh crew. Maybe when they've earned gained some experience points. I think we're ready to go here. So we're going to give this a try. It's only worth one star. And that's only if we get the epic loot. But we're going to give it a go. Eliminate all the scrappers. And then evacuate. Okay. Level 2. Level 1. What level are you, Faraday? You need the same amount of experience points to level up. Let's take Faraday with us. She and Sally Bolt will go on this mission. We will repurpose the small repair box to Faraday as well. Alright. Oh, you lost your hat, Sally. Let's give you it back. And I think I prefer the captain with this hat after all. Alright, let's uh, let's do it. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have a grenade. We should equip that on you, Piper. Okay, let's get going. Well, we're set up. Let's just get in there. We have to kill six scrappers. Oof. Three to start. Uh, Piper can kill one. Probably? Yes. Because she does five to seven damage. It's going to be you, Sally. It's going to be a little tricky to get any kills here. Okay. Uh, what are they armed with? Carbines. And one two damage rifle. Alright, Piper. Let's, uh, this isn't the best cover. We'll move you here anyway. Sally, can you maybe damage him in the leg? Oh! Well, that kind of worked. That was an accident, but I'll take that hit. Okay. Let's... Oh, we have to sprint to get behind the upper barrel. Can I do what I did again? And hit that... No, I think he moved back a little, didn't he? Did. Let's try. Hey! Good shot, Sally. Then you get a kill shot. Can we hit him maybe underneath? Ah, darn it. Angle was just, just a little bit wrong. I don't really want to move you up too far, Piper. You can shoot directly at his legs if I can get that. Darn it. Shot right. Oh! Big hit there. Um. Sally? Oh, what to do with you? So that was a giant hit. We're gonna sprint back with you. Piper, can you maybe get this guy? Darn it! Just off. Ooh, almost got you, Sally. Piper, this one hasn't been touched yet. Awesome. So I move back up here and then use that med kit on herself. Okay. Uh, sure, there's plenty of loot up here. Wow, four loot bags. Piper, I think you'll go take the low road. Sally will take the high road. Wait, there's no alarm system going off right now, so we can afford to wait one round and get prepared. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Three more. Only one has a carbine, I think. That's what it's called. And two more have rifles. Sally? How much life do they have? Six each. You cannot kill one unless we get a da damage on them. We could try lobbing the grenade. But I don't... Yeah, we won't be able to get up there unless I move forward to here. Pepper will take two hits if we do that. Let's do this anyway. Yeah, we should be able to bounce it into, the, into this front guy. Or even the carbine guy is more dangerous. Let's try that instead. Sally can then move up directly across from him and kill him. Get her her kill shot. And she might be able to get a lucky crit and kill him. Ah, or miss him entirely. That works too. Actually, it doesn't work at all, does it? Good work, team. Sally, you lived. Thank goodness for your armor and that health pack. If Sally would have died then we would have lost the one star that we would have gained right here. When the going gets tough, successful. What do we pick up? Water. 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 And we got two pieces of normal loot. Another scrap grenade. And another small storage unit. Wonderful. And a little more wrap. Probably plus one life. Plus one life, yep. Or health. Good job, ladies. Thank you very much. Okay, well, we're heading now down. Notice the locks? We need at least that much reputation in order to pass by these locations. We've got the max... Yeah, we've got the maximum reputation we can have at the moment. Let's head down south through the colony. This mineral-rich belt of space debris is well protected. To talk to Tap's wire, the crew has to gather enough reputation to get through. Simple pirates are not welcome. Well, it's not like they're throwing a parade, but we're on the same side after all. Alright, let's go visit the bar. Lola's has been a staple of the colony for nearly 400 years. The current proprietor, Taps Wire, serves both information and beverages to the inhabitants. The place looks quieter than it should. Let's see who's here today. Hello, Ivansky. You look like you're prepared for anything. We're hiring if you're interested. Ivansky is strong, but... But important is why you are fighting. Battle must have good purpose. Well, we are fighting the scrappers from spreading out more than they already have. To help weaker bots, Ivansky will fight. But if undertaking only for betterment of self, Ivansky can just pump instead. We'd have the reputation for him. Let's give him a hire. Circus strongmen need to project strength. So once rumors about great Ivansky's soft spot spread, harsh words made him leave the big top. Knows how to take a punch. He's got eight hit points. Four melee damage. He's pretty, he's pretty good in melee, that's for sure. He's also level zero. Yeah, let's grab him. Ha! Wonderful. We'll have we will have great adventures. Always be prepared. All right, let's see what's for sale here today. Hello, Frau. How about some new Regans? Let's see what you got. 
Blacksmith Revolver, Frontier Shorty MK2, Speed Boots, and two storage units down below. How's our inventory looking? We don't have anything extra except for the bronze teapot at the moment. Let's take a look around and see what else is here. Or who else is here, actually. Welcome, stranger. Not a lot of bots crazy enough to dare venture out in times like these. And here I always thought that the colony was the safest place in the whole outskirts. It was. But once the scrappers broke through, it's hard times all around. Making it worse, royalist divers are claiming asteroids, drilling for oil. Rumor is the jerks need it for some perilous missions into deep space. You seem to know quite a lot. Gat Parrot said you might even know who's leading this scrapper gang? Uh, well, usually I would. But many of my sources are too afraid to go out. I bet they'd surface again if it wasn't for a certain brutal crusher terrorizing the colony. I might be able to help out with that. Bring me these cowering cowbots that bring these cowering cowbots out of hiding. It's hard to get this tour flying with all these scrappers running around. They don't scare us though. I mean, come on. Look like a bunch of patched up shreds of junk. Uh, they're dangerous enough though, sir. You really don't sport the look of a hired gun, now do you? Don't let appearances fool you, Captain. There's a lot more to this adventure than meets the eye. On the lookout for an engineer with marksman skills? That's a sniper gun, all right. And we need to enroll more crew. I'm ready for adventures filled with gallons and treasure. Now for, for the first sign-on bonus pay. Valentine had a secure life as a chimney engineer. He's retired. He's looking for high adventure. Oh, now retired. He's looking for high adventure. Don't let his shaking fool you. If he's stationary, he's steady. 750, and he's actually pretty decent. Let's grab him. Swashbuckle and adventure, here I come. We have enough money left over, we can probably buy another item. This is basically like the gun, uh, this is an upgraded handgun, Tim. This is basically a, bear, a better carrying pistol. That is a better shotgun. What else do we have here? Speed boots. And store of slightly more expensive storage units. I only have enough to buy one item. Hmm. Let's take the revolver then. Actually, let's also sell that teapot. That will let us purchase another storage unit. So that was Lola's. Can't say I'm impressed by its veneer. Yar. Now, now, no need to ride the high steam horse. We'll help out with this crusher and get helped in return. <laughs> right. I'm just saying that we've heard so much about the colony and this know-it-all bartender. It's a fine thing to have some strong clamps on the ship. Captain, you want workout time? Ivansky will spot you later. Build up pressure, make hydraulics strong, yes? Good for crushing large scrappers. You sure you're up for some high space adventure, Mr. Butterbolt? Well, Captain, the retirement home just wasn't for me, I guess. Stamp collecting is the most boring hobby imaginable. It's too much like work. I really do prefer firing guns at the gun range. It's nice to have a useful hobby. Ah, I guess it is indeed, especially if you have all the time to practice. Okay, where are we going this time? Let's rid the colony of scrappers and stop this brutal crusher, man. How to get there is the question. Hmm. We also want some experience for Ivansky and Butterbolt. Let's go to perhaps this small ship? And get some experience for them if we're able to. I'm a little nervous about this, but let's give it a try. This ship, explosive transport. This ship is filled to the brim with stolen explosives. It's more or less a flying bomb. Can't have that floating about the colony. Handle the crazy scrapper crew and 
get out. Okay, we're going to remove all this stuff at the moment. Actually, not for you, Piper. I think I still want you using the harpoon gun. Okay, and we don't want either of these folks. We're going to be bringing our two new hires this time. Let's take a look at their abilities really fast. He can use handguns and a new type of weapon, heavy weapons. This character can use heavy class weapons. Heavy class weapons consist of launchers and other bigger guns. They deal splash damage that can hit multiple foes, but can also damage allies if not used with caution. Basically, grenade launchers, uh, explosive, uh, what are they called? Gyro jets, and rocket launchers. And this guy is a sharpshooter. This character can use sharp... Oh, we've, we've seen this already. So he can use handguns and sharpshooter weapons. Just like um, Captain Faraday. What class are you? You're a captain? You're a sentry. Okay. So, we're going to bring Bodden the Great to Ivansky. And Valentine Butterbolt. I wonder why some of their names are yellow. Does that mean I can rename them somehow? Okay. Anyway, let's see. He's using a Junkyard Thumper. It's a medium, it's a AoE attack, the suit of the everything in the AoE, and it's friendly fire with an arcing projectile. I think we're going to give you instead the blacksmith revolver for this mission. And you're using a scoped smuggler's special. Well, it won't be much better, but we'll give you the scope short round. Six hit points, eight hit points. Give you the repair box, sir, and I think the brass knuckles, in case you have to melee it. And Valentine can get both grenades for this mission. And they have their hat, their normal hats equipped. That's be good. We'll at least see what they look like once with their hats. All right, let's try it. I believe most, if not all, of the cover in this ship will be explosive barrels. It's gonna be terrible. We can pretty much die very quickly if we're not careful. Alright. Here we go. Oh god, a sniper. Way back there. And there's nothing he's hiding behind. If I stay here and fire, we can kill this guy with a single good shot at that barrel in front of him. It's his friend that I'm nervous about. I don't have any good place to get him. Okay. Let's try to have Ivansky take the shot and that's a lot of damage you're going to take, Yvonne, to that sniper. We could fall back and have Valentine move a little and shoot the barrel. Let's do that. I have to hope I will be able to hit that barrel, but I have no reason to think I won't be able to. Oh my god, that was close. He almost got the barrel. Just a little bit further and he would have succeeded. We need to kill him in one go. So we're going to have to hope that we can move up and do so. I don't want to leave it up to chance that he'll get another shot like he just got. We're going to charge forward. We could just move Ivansky up. Let's see if Valentine can get a hit on him. Oh, actually... Oh, not Ivansky. Um, Butterbolt. We can hit him in the head. We might. We got a good chance to kill him. Nice, awesome. Okay, first one down. Okay, first room cleared. Five scrappers left. I think we'll go south next, or south. We'll go down. Well, this should be a piece. Of oh, I like that hat. Take the hat off. I 
Probably not without killing him. To do this, there's no one else in there. Alright, Ivanski. Let's just aim south and destroy that barrel. Oh, darn it! Darn it, I killed him as well! Oh, well. Okay. Well, they're dead. Let's get like the stuff. This probably leads to the same room that this door leads to. So we'll try opening these next turn. Oof. You're in a bad way, Valentine. We could just... Ah, oh, it's a sniper up there. We could just stand here and hope to hit this guy twice, but... Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. He's not by anything. We can move Valentine... Uh, this is the last room. We can move Valentine... Oh, there's another good hat up there. Darn you, hats! Darn you, I want you so badly. No, we're gonna end up just slaughtering them. We can do the mission again, and this time aim for the hats the second time. I'm thinking if we move Valentine here and throw a grenade up there, that will totally destroy both of those guys. Unfortunately, I really want that... But there's no hope for it, Tim. You kind of need to go up there and just do this. That guy does like six damage with his sniper rifle, though. Okay, we'll try something a little tricky. Something I should not do. We're gonna try lobbing a grenade at this gentleman instead. It might be a huge mistake, we might lose Ivanski here, but we're gonna do it anyway. We won't kill him. We could, well, we could kill the sniper, but no. I would have used a, gr a grenade if I, if I wanted to do that. Sniper didn't fire. Interesting. Let's move you back here then, Ivanski. Okay, he's not firing, so we might have a chance to take that guy's hat off somehow. Can I destroy the barrel here? I don't want to accidentally get hit by the barrel and take massive damage. These barrels either. I'm going to destroy them. Well, the rest of this must just be pure loot then. Let's move Ivanski back. If this, if this guy's not moving up, then we can take our time and get these barrels destroyed. Okay, now for the tricky part. This is gonna be a huge hit you're gonna take on us, Valentine. If I want that hat, and I do, we gotta do this. Darn it! Darn it! We didn't do it! We didn't do it. Vasky, run up. Okay. We get one more shot at this, literally. Darn it! We have to kill him. That sucked. There could still be more scrappers in here. We completed our objective, but it doesn't mean there aren't more. Yep, as I thought. Okay, how many hit points does he have? Five. That's a shame, man. Two attempts at that hat. One of a prior mission, and we just couldn't get it. 
I probably need someone who does, like, a has a machine gun. That might actually be the... Well, I'm vendoring the machine guns, so... I guess that's not gonna happen. I knew there'd be one of you in here. Oh, good kill there, Valentine. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Nice. We, we were successful. Holy crap. With two level zeros as well. And all the loot acquired. Good work, guys. Explosives transport successful. Ooh, some rare loot. Alright, the normal stuff is... Oh, and slightly bigger canisters? No, this is the same stuff. Alright, and we get the swag. Another scrap grenade. Okay, those are really useful, though. The Crippler. The infamous weapon of a copycat serial killer. The Diesel Gazette branded her Jackie the Crippler. Medium area damage, friendly friendly fire, 40% chance of crippling. That means that they can't run away, basically roots them in place. And an arcing projectile. This is perfect for Ivansky. I think it's a heavy weapon, so I think he's the only one who can use it. Payback. Vanguards, oh, this is the same thing that we've seen Seabrass have. He has. When he takes damage, uh, he will do plus two damage the next round. Focus. If sentries don't move before shooting, they deal plus one bonus damage. Does not work in melee. Ah, I really wanted those hats. <laughs> Hello, Piper. Oh, and we have some new stuff to talk to about with these folks. Let's go ahead and do that. Looking strong there, Ivansky. Glad to be aboard. Good vessel, Captain. Great workshop to keep parts in shape. Very important. Ivansky already strongest, but need to work hard to maintain it. Okay. Let's... Let's at least load out our crew. Okay, so you're not going to use the blacksmith any longer, sir. Is this a heavy weapon? This is a heavy weapon, so you're the only person that can use it. So, here you go, sir. It can't critical, and it's an arcing projectile. It's probably a bullet it fires. Okay, we don't have another sharpshooter weapon, to my knowledge. We have tons of grenades. Okay, so let's... Oh, my goodness. Who gets what here? Here, sure. We don't have a better shotgun. We do want to give Sally the best weapons we can give her. Uh, I'm doing this, by the way, just to equip people. Uh, I might not be doing this mission. Let's see. I want you to have a health box. You definitely get the rusty armor. Ivansky should probably keep the brass knuckles and also have a health box. Sally, we've got Three grenades. Let's give you a grenade. Piper can take a grenade. And the same with Valentine. I think that's ev all my current gear equipped to everybody. Yep. Okay. Um. What next? Where to next? I guess we have to go this way to make our way towards the cargo barge. So we'll do this mission. Um, the rumored safety... Oh, let's click on this first. The rumored safety of the mining colony is marred by this huge cargo barge. Crusher-class scrappers protect the gallons in this cavernous hole. Make sure to bring some long-range weaponry. We don't really have good long-range weaponry with us. We don't have a sniper rifle. Let's see if there's one for sale back up at the gun vendor, shall we? Sir, right, these are normal carrying pistols. So this is probably the closest thing I've got to a sniper rifle at the moment. It's four damage. So it's one damage more than what he's currently using, Valentine. So maybe we should be purchasing that. What else do we have down here? Blacksmith Derringer. But we don't have the money for this. Okay, so this gets two attacks. 
one attack will do two damage, and the next attack will do three damage. The five is the total damage for what it does, just as a heads up. And we also have a decent weapon, so we don't need another heavy. Though this weapon does a large AoE, as opposed to a medium AoE. In any case, I think we will purchase the Blacksmith Sniper. We'll get that equipped. And then we can vendor the other small scope round. Okay, let's go to our loadout. So, Valentine, we can now give you the Blacksmith Sniper. We can then go to our inventory and vendor this other scope short round. We also don't need the old Karen pistol. We're going to vendor this as well. Three empty spaces. Everyone else is using all the gear we've got. Okay. Now, who's coming along? So, I have a habit of trying to level everybody equally. So, that means I'll be bringing Valentine and we'll be bringing... Ivansky with us for this mission. Because they're both level 1s. Next, who needs the most experience of my level 2s? Uh, that would be Sally. So this will be our crew. We do have an empty slot here. We'll go ahead and give you the health pack that Seabrass was using. We don't have any cool hats. Well, sorry, we have lots of cool hats. Let's give you the Tricorn. We'll give you Vonsky... Classic Ushanka. All right, let's do it. Oh, that hat looks great on Ivansky, doesn't it? I think that looks good. Oh, look at the little fire guy. But Valentine looks great too. Fiddlesticks! The alarm countdown is already active! By the distinct tone, I can tell that turrets will pop out once it reaches zero. When the turrets pop out, they will not fire that round, but you better be able to deal with them. They pop... quite a few of them will pop out. I don't see a turret mount in the starting chamber. Okay, where are we? Oh, looks like we should be going south. But it'd be quickest if we go this way and mop that area up first. All right, let's go to the right. Now, this is indeed a super large ship. Okay, I don't think I can afford the wait. We're gonna open this door and see what's on the other side. Oh, it's this mission. Okay, we have a new enemy here. This giant bot. This guy here, he is immune to damage from the front thanks to his shield, of bullets and what have you. But explosives will hurt him. Uh, although he regenerates one hit point, I think next round, if he took any this round. He is melee only though, but he does a ton of damage when he hits with that wrench. The rest of these are just weak support. He doesn't move very far, but I will need to be careful. Ivanski can move up to... Maybe here? But I'll need to kill the guy below us. What can, Va what can Valentine strike from here? The focus ability gives you bonus damage if you stand still and attack. We can hit the top guy with you, uh, Valentine, but it's going to be tough to get that hit I need. I prefer to get the guy below you, but I don't think I'll have a shot unless I open that door with Sally, which we can do. Let's open it. Okay. Now, Valentine, what can you shoot here? Sniper weapons have the best range and increased critical chance. However, you can't shoot after move. Can I turn off tutorials? Skip info and info screens. It's the tutorials I don't want. No, I can't. Okay. All right. So, what do we? Can I get the? Oh, we can get him. Can hit him in the head. Nice, good. Lower guy defeated. Let's move you up here, Ivansky. 
Do I want to... Oh, me, this might be the best spot to move you. We aim your gun right here, and the AoE should damage maybe all three, and might cripple them. Wonderful! Killed one bot, crippled two others. They cannot move this round. Let's see if you can get a kill, Sally. Kill shot! Can we get the ricochet I need? He's not moving this round. Awesome! That was a fantastic round! Can you get him in the head? Valentine? Uh, not really. I'm gonna have to move you. Ivanski can just shoot him again at this range, and there's no reason not to. Stunned again. We're gonna grab both of these loops while he's stunned. Valentine will just charge forward because he can't move. Let's get you down here, Valentine. I can't keep him there because the AoE will hurt will hit Valentine when Ivanski fires again. Actually, Ivanski can probably punch him. Yeah, let's let's have him punch him to death. Nice. And I still don't see a turret mount in this chamber either. They're usually visible to tell you where they'll be popping out from. Alright, well, let's move down here. Move you directly on top of that door. Oh, it doesn't lead to the same chamber. Oh, crap, and there's a guy down there. Okay. Don't panic, Tim. Don't panic. So, can we kill this guy by standing right where we are? Oh, we can't. We can hit him. Good job, Valentine. Thank you. He's near an explosive. Though, if I'm going to go for the explosive, I want to hit the far one. This way, when this guy walks up here, we can hit the explosive that's close by to destroy him. Oh, there's a second guy down there. This is the final room as well. Good shot, Miss Bolt. We don't need you firing again. Ivanski, let's send you, I guess, behind Sally. Just like a few other games I've played, like a paintball or stuff like that, I find that you want to grab position quickly so you have areas to fall back to. You can force the enemy to stay away from you. Gun turrets will be here. Ivanski, let's move you up here. And have you fire and begin damaging this guy. Oh! They ricocheted off his. Ricocheted off his, whatchamacallit, altogether. It's not a rocket, so it doesn't have a explosive payload. So the bullet will be deflected every single time. That's gonna be annoying. We can't jump up two spots either, so we've got to deal with this gentleman. Let's run you up here, Sally. I am fine with this. Ivanski, fire at him from behind. Oh! You can't quite hit him. This is awkward. This is very awkward. Uh, this Valentine has to kind of charge up here. It's awkward because... Well, let's try this. Okay, we at least damaged one of them, but he'll regenerate that hit. I don't want to leave you there, Sally. It might be best that we do so. Let's move you one step back this way. Okay, let's damage and destroy this really quick, I suppose. Only two damage. We 
Vasky get the ricochet and hit him in the face. Good. He can't move and payback got activated. Can we kill him now? Good. He can't run up here. We can fall back a little now and wait for him, I suppose. We need one more swag. Three more swag. Where is... Oh, in the chamber. We would need to run around to make it there. We could have Sally begin peppering this guy. Oh, we have a gun turret, though, to be, to be careful of. If we can kill that gun turret, Sally, we can get another free shot on whatchamacallit. Darn it! Hit the edge of the shield. Can we damage him in the head? Hey, Valentine? We can. A little tricky. Good hit. Ivansky, let's move you up. We'll aim south and just fire us south. Aim down and kill him. Okay, wonderful. Oh, he dropped his hat, too. That's even better for us. Alright, let's move down here and grab that hat, Ivanski. And now what? Can you actually damage them? I don't think I have a decent... Okay, good. Put some damage on one of them. So let's move you here so you can't be hit by the gun turrets. You can see that the alarm is still counting down, by the way, everyone. That means in seven more rounds, the alarm will go off and we'll start having spawning enemies. Can we maybe kill that? Maybe... No, not from, not from where we currently are located. Let's move you here. Oh, that was a sneaky shot. Well done, gun turret. Well done. Miss Bolt, you'll be so kind. Oh, you're not Miss Bolt. You're Ivansky. Let's move you here, then. I did that to weaken those because I'm worried that our exit point will be where the way we came in. This bolt, let's get you lined up to enter. Bonsky can move up and use his health pack. Right, Valentine, and we'll just move you here. That's a magnificent hat! I want it. <laughs> I really want that. Okay, even even if that means we lose Sally, that hat is amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Ivansky. You know you can get him without hitting that barrel. Good job, Valentine. Thank you. Grab this. Excellent. We are out of here. Oh, that's perfect. And it spawned right by us. Wonderful. Holy crap, we made it out. Barely took any damage either. And we got a crown. And another hat of some sort, too. Wonderful. And we got some rare loot. Holy crap. So let's get all of our water first. Uncommon hat. A regal and heavy burden to bear in more ways than one. Oh, I can't pronounce this. Noblesse oblige, I think. Noblesse oblige. We gained a Frontier Thumper, MK2. This is basically the weapon that Ivansky is using right now. 
only this one doesn't cripple people that it strikes. So I'm going to keep his current weapon instead. Frontier Shorty MK2. Excellent. This is, We can give this to Seabrass. A rare grenade. A shoot a grenade with an arc trajectory up to 10 damage inside the area of impact. Much more powerful than our 6 damage one. Work team. Ivanski? Ivanski has been helping Seabrass getting salty joints moving again. A well trimmed body will give a better mood to Sulky Seabot, yes? That's nice of you, Bogdan. You could really use some cheering up. Yarr. Okay, first, let's get all our gear put on us. That's a reminder that, hey, you unlocked enough reputation to see what that is. We'll do this, and then we'll call the session. Uh, first, I want to do our loadout. So, we picked up a new Frontier Shorty, right? So that means that we want Seabrass here. Yes, we picked up the MK2. And we have a better grenade for somebody. I think maybe Piper should get that grenade. And we can give the normal grenade instead to Seabrass, perhaps? Oh, uh, let's give it to... Uh, yeah, we'll give it to Butter... Uh, Butterbolt at the moment. This way he can move and do something on his turns. How about the hats? Let's give a crown to our captain, shall we? Okay, we also need the vendor some stuff. We're all filled up on, on things. So we don't need the Frontier Thumper. Let's just sell this. What else are we not using? The old Frontier Shorty will be sold off. That is it. We have room for two things. There's one inventory spot left back at the bar. So we can go revisit that for it. But let's check what this is first. A well-kept lawn on an inexplicitly difficult-to-pass space rock. The old cowbot caring for it looks armed and grumpy. Best to keep off the grass. A well-groomed lawn is a pure pride for its owner. Good thing we've mowed down all those scrappers. Say, the old lawn mower bot on his space rock appreciates that someone's been keeping scrappers off his lawn. Pass on by. Go on, get. Backwater bodega? Hmm, no sign or advertising, but it looks like some kind of store. Whoever's running it has chosen an obscure approach on how to attract customers. I, I like that hat on you, Piper. Like the other gun merchant, we will find this gun merchant as well. She is harder to get to, requires more reputation, and her stuff is usually better than the other gun merchant that we were just at. Hello, Nana. <coughs> get busy buying something, will ya? Headhunter, Rusty Light Armor, Tier 3. This adds... Pl okay, I don't know if I actually showed you, but our Rusty Heavy Armor is plus one health, but you can sprint one less space. This armor doesn't impact your movement at all. We have more expensive storage units. This one's small, one spot. This one will offer us two spots. And a Sushi Fire Sidearm. This adds a free action. That will deal three damage when you use it, and you can use it twice per mission. A free action means that when you fire, uh, in this case, well, a free action means that when you use that, whatever action that is, it does not consume your action for that round, allowing you to still fire again, if you so wish, or sprint, if you so wish, I believe. Anyway, this stuff is very expensive at the moment, so we're just going to keep it here. We're going to go back to the bar, and instead buy that other storage unit we saw there. Okay, 
us a chance to look at the other gear that's for sale here as well. Oh, speed boots are nice. I wouldn't mind having those for our sniper. Let's purchase this at the moment, though. Oh, we can purchase these. Who would... Our sniper actually kind of tends to stand. So, the thing about speed boots is that... Oh, plus one move. That's not plus one jump. Hmm. Could be useful, though. No, they are useful, but I think... I think we'll... Hold... Oh, they can let us close the distance with some... With a character, but no, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We won't... We don't need them. And we don't need the black... Oh, the blacksmith revolver. All right. All right, everybody. That will do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. When we come back, we will get our butts over to the large cargo vessel we saw, and I'm thinking we'll also redo the one mission that had those two awesome hats, the bomb ship, and we'll see if we can get them, but if I don't get them the second time around, I won't do it a third. Alright, everybody, I'll see you in the next one, thank you guys for watching, and take care, everybody.